Hi, welcome to Robin Vlogs. So I'm back in London in Covent Garden. So happy to be here in the lovely store in Momu Street. And uh, I'm here to show you a little bit of the store and the new collection summer 2021. So I hope you enjoy it. I'm doing my best, I'm not a professional. So I just wanted to invite you as if you were here, if you're not able to come over and uh, see close by all the clothes that we have in the store. So sit and enjoy and uh, leave me your feedbacks. I always like to uh, see if you'll enjoy my videos. Okay, so see you soon. Bye. So here we are in the Momo Street front window display and this is the lovely Muhu collection. Um, they are lovely, lovely handmade uh, embroideries which are really characteristic of the style and is uh, right back from Estonia. Um, if you have seen in the catalogue, there have been in the past previous Muhu collections but always in winter. So this is quite a nice addition if you have any clothes from the past collection then you can mix and match with what you have. And this is the summer collection so they're much lighter items and not many woolly cardigans or jumpers but also tunic and summer dresses. They're very nice light and of course very colorful and this is going through the shop the lovely store and uh, this is a, an insight into the collection which is uh, um, more african uh, inspired so you can see a very very bright and colorful intense colors this is the pink section and also the turquoise and the, the blues and uh, the, the, these are some of the items and accessories for example this collection has bags which are very useful to keep your little things inside your mask uh, your uh, sanitizer your glasses your hankies and uh, then we'll see a little bit more in detail the collection this is all the lovely fruity and vegetables <laughs> uh, from this collection so back to the muhu this is a very close up into the embroideries they're just lovely they're almost like a, a stitch point uh, here you can see all the lovely flowers and uh, there are three colors um, in this collection you got the white dress uh, the pink dress and the turquoise dress that we're going to see also further down uh, for example this is the pink section here and also it's very flowery this is the skirt, also from the Muhu collection, that you can use as an underlayer, so an underskirt, so you can see the motif with the flowers, and it gives you a little bit of extra length. This is the pink dress version, which is really nice, uh, again with the front bib, uh, with all the flowers, and the fabric itself is organic cotton and um, it's very light and lovely puffy sleeves so very nice when it's going to be hotter or you can layer it as well and use it in winter with a cardigan over these are the clothes of the muhu collection mixed up with the basics and here you have the turquoise vacuum version and this is the tunic so you have the dress we've seen earlier and this is a, like a blouse a long blouse or a tunic it's got buttons at the front so you can use it almost as a jacket as well if you wish in the summer and this is the dress with the front bib with the flowers and on the sleeve you got all the flowers all decorating the sleeves and the lovely pattern on the organic cotton these are more basic collection the stripes and the plain colors so if you don't like too much a very heavy pattern then you can have something more sober and simple and then accessorize as in this case with a nice scarf with bigger motifs and these are the basic flowers as well they're really nice they're tunics and dresses and these are nice t-shirts very simple but with a nice bold uh, pattern this is the Indian collection and these are lovely uh, clothes, they're all made in organic cotton. This is the blouse which is dipped in color so you can see the shades and the colors they are graduating. 
and this is the other shirt or tunic it's lovely with the mirrors so it's got embroideries at the front of the bib and pockets on the side and buttons and it's called a kurta because it's a long traditional Indian vest and this is another top or tunic this one is made in linen so it's really nice and again you can see the drip uh, the dipped color they are really nice at the front in the red pattern and this is the, the tunic that you can see there on the side which is the ikat or ikat I don't know how you spell it or, or pronounce it and this is the blue section so the same the same clothes but with blue instead of red with a deep coloring really really nice and this is again the ikat so it's another traditional textile uh, way to have pre-colored uh, fibers and then there are uh, produced so the the colors are all within uh, inside in the texture of the fabric and this is the black uh, with some basics again introduced like these nice round circles and the kurta in the natural and of course you can add more layers when it's cold you can have a nice jumper or cardigan over so this is walking through the lovely store and this we're going back again to the African section with the fruit and um, this is the marimba dress it's a nice simple dress sleeveless as you can see comes in lots of colors plain colors and also with the fruit and uh, it's really nice on its own in the summer or you can layer it if you want more length or if you want to cover your arms you can use some a t-shirt like you can see here underneath you can have a top with long sleeves to cover your arms and then layer it for example in this case you we put a shirt or a blouse that is open on top of the long sleeves to create layers and patterns this is the lovely linen dress which has got buttons all the way through so it can become a jacket it's the Botswana one and it's got very very nice luscious fruits um, guavas and uh, all typical fruits uh, very nice um, and it's really very a very happy uh, dress that you can wear in the summer when it's hot and this is the marimba again which is a different version of the one we've seen before which was jersey cotton this one instead is um, like textile proper cotton uh, voile in different shades and it's got buttons all the way and it's got little pleats uh, across the waist and this is the blue version you got the red and you got the green as well and i think it's very popular these are more basics so for layering you got lovely cardigans from this one is again from the deep indian collection so it is really nice in cotton with the details nice wooden buttons and the nice motifs mix very well and this is the fourth collection that we have in the summer 2021 this one is inspired in japan so it follows our previous collections that had been done the matsumoto collection and you got all this recurrent uh, circle design and the lotus flower and this is the kimono which is really nice and light it's not very long it's got ample sleeves and it's got a detail uh, here on the edge at the front very nice as usual so i like that you always have a nice detail in all your garments and this is the matsumoto in the black and gray so you got tops tunics dresses a kimono you got very wide flared legs uh, soft jersey trousers and moving along you got the matsumoto in the pink and reds so you always have different colors combinations then we go to the accessories that are so important because they add a little bit to your outfits so we see here all the socks that for choice there are short socks ankle socks mid socks and they all have combination of colors 
And here I've put on the table a few items that I really like. Uh, for this collection, for example, as a nice accessory, we have the belt. It's a cotton belt, all embroidered with flowers. It goes with the Muhu collection, uh, but of course you can use it with any of your clothes. And it's really nice. It's got a long string, so it can adjust to any size and style. And these are the motifs on the socks. So they're really nice colors. And these are the recycled polyester ones. And these are the leggings or um, footless tights that we really like. And they always come in plain, in patterns, in this case with the stripes. And these are more socks. So they're always organic and they come in two sizes. A small, a medium and large, extra large. And then these are other tights, footless tights, so we call them leggings, but they're footless tights with the little circles um, uh, pattern. And they go up to the XL, from small to XL, small medium to XL, so they're really nice and soft, so I, I do like them very much. And this is the last uh, summer 2021 catalogue which is really nice and uh, I really recommend going through and of course you can look online as well if you want to see a close-up of the garments of your choice but it's very good to give you a nice inspiration of the collection and how to combine different items so this is what I'm wearing today is the agave uh, cardigan or jacket over the Indian ja eye cut or e cut tunic and the underskirt and as accessory I've got the necklace with glass beads and the little bag that is very useful okay. and now a little exercise okay. I wanted to have a little bit of fun the shapes that you find in the Good and Shoden brochure uh, every time to give you a little bit an idea of the sizes and the materials so I did cut them out and we can play together just to see how you can layer your clothes so in the morning when you get dressed it's um, sometimes it can be difficult to think about pattern and textures and colors and layers so I can tell you how I do it personally and perhaps if it helps you could um, prepare your clothes for the following day in the evening so you don't feel overwhelmed in the morning to think and all the combinations so I like to start from the bottoms. The bottoms can be either the leggings. So as you can see here, for example, these are the leggings or trousers. Uh, in this case, we have wide leg uh, trousers in Jersey, but they can be in cotton or linen and uh, the skirt. So either of these can be your first layer. And of course, when I talk of leggings, they can be proper jersey leggings or they can be like the tights, the footless tights. So they're quite 40 deniers or 60 deniers with a pattern or just a ball plain color. So that's your first layer. When you decided which one you like, then you think what is the next layer, which is the top item. So of course, it depends the season that we are. So let's say that we are in a... Um, hot weather so the spring and summer so you don't have many layers so you will have your top element so you will have perhaps a t-shirt with short sleeves like so or you will have a long item so you could have for example a tunic or a dress and if you wanted to layer that with a third item, for example, you could have the, the tunic, the sleeveless tunic, and then a t-shirt over. So you have one, two and three layers and they're still short. Okay, and then when it's a bit colder, then you can add a fourth layer, so a cardigan. Okay. So if we swap that, we could have, for example, a kimono over the t-shirt, that would be fine. Or over the skirt, for example, we could have a long tunic. And of course, it depends on the patterns. Uh, 
uh, but this is how I work it out basically so it's not difficult and uh, it gets easier as you do it more often and uh, you can have a skirt and a dress for example so you have the layer at the bottom of the dress so you have pattern with the underskirt or a skirt and then the dress at the top and here for example if we change this we can have a tunic so it's a three quarter tunic instead of having a dress that is much longer we have a three quarter tunic and then we can have a different pattern with a shorter top over it and then when it's cooler or cooler you can have your fourth element the jacket or the cardigan or perhaps a nice kimono there you go so it's like playing dolls <laughs> in a way <laughs> yes so the last element that is very important when you want to layer and play with colors and textures are the accessories so one of the main accessories is for example uh, the choice for the leggings or the socks so at the bottom of your list would be for example you could choose to pick up your brochure and have a look on the color combinations and usually you will have the bold color just a plain color for tights or socks and then you can also pick stripes or a pattern or dots and short socks again they're a nice fun element that can give you an extra layer in terms of color and patterns as you can see here for example this is the summer collection and uh, every collection has got its different patterns obviously but it's quite fun to pick up those and finally you have the scarves so the scarves are another nice item accessory that you can pick up and they're very good because they add a final element to all the layers that are included in the clothes so I love playing with patterns so if you like color and different shapes you can pick up a scarf and that will add a new layer and uh, enhance your final look and this is taken again from the summer collection you can use scarves as belts over your neck obviously over your hair so you can play with those and you can layer them as well so instead of picking one scarf you could have two of different color and there you go and then of course you have the earrings and the necklaces or jewelry accessories and uh, you're ready to go have fun so here we have a few natural options for the gudronistas who are not too much into very deep colors or bright colors and want something gentle and perhaps if you're working from home so these are a few picks so as you see at the bottom you have picking down the yoga trousers in a natural shade very easy to wear comfortable and uh, different tops options so this is a lovely cardigan in cotton with a lovely flower pattern and it's um, not too busy in my opinion uh, so it would be very nice with the bottoms this is a woolly cardi again with natural tones completely different feel again with the bottoms and this is another nice option to keep you warm and this is a cotton cotton sweater classic cotton lovely simple pattern dots and stripes again with the natural bottoms and of course you can wear them over jeans if you're a jeans person
this is another option for summer when it's hot you don't need a cardigan or a sweater and that's it so this is the lovely cloud t-shirt with nice dots or spots in the natural shade and it's really fun and this is one of the many colors i think there are 10 colors silk and cotton uh, top with a nice split at the front it's really light and soft this is the kind of a pearly gray uh, color but there are 10 shades and these are the yoga prams or the yoga trousers very soft with pockets and it's gathered at the much. bottom it's jersey organic cotton with a little bit of elastication as well inside and here we go with the black colors and gray shades so we swat for a cardigan in cotton with a lovely um, flower pattern which is quite organized or not geometrical with pockets at the front and a nice detail on the necklace and the uh, neckline i mean <laughs> and these are the yoga pants in jersey cotton and in black and uh, so you can see how they look different and if you like be a fan of black which is quite nice and elegant Hello, and uh, if you want to swap from colors one day then you can pick uh, this is the billy tunic is almost length of of a dress it's quite long and generous inside is a very light voile cotton so you can layer it this is a lovely jacket it's almost a bow breasted jacket with tiny buttons and a pocket it is in cotton and it's a jersey cotton quite thick and it's quite uh, almost um, uh, traditional in its cut so it's got quite nice and it has a dress that is paired to it so you can layer the dress with the jacket or, or completely mismatch them so this is the dress it's a three-quarter dress so not too long with a pocket and it comes in different colors so there are blue colors and red and pinks this is the marimba dress that we've seen originally earlier on and it's layered again so it's a sleeveless but i have put besides the long sleeve top with little dots and of course you know you got pattern against pattern so if you love to mix and match different patterns it's really fun to do that or you could have for example a plain color Thank underneath you. like a yellow or a red that would be fun and these are the trousers jersey trousers with a wide leg and it has almost an overlap at the front almost a skirty kind of feel and you can of course layer it with another top with the little dots again to have this crazy uh, pattern together and then you could have a third element to layer it for example a dress <clears throat> With the little flowers in jersey cotton with nice pleats at the front so depending what look you want to achieve this is the matsumoto top it's super super light cotton voile it is short ish it's not very long and it's got these lovely motifs with the round and the flowers and the leaves inside and then you can see you can layer it with the kimono for example on top of it or you could have a long sleeve top underneath as well in a yellow or in a gold if it's a bit cold on the day and then long trousers underneath you can just see the jersey trousers with a wide leg in the matsumoto print again and it comes also with a tunic that's got this lovely detail at the front where the fabric is turned around so you got the leggings underneath the long trousers and the tunic this is the gray color and it comes also in other two colors the blues and the pinks but i have picked up here all the more muted tones this is a very nice and sophisticated simple look and here we are with the ikat or ikat fabric 
with the tunic or dress with the two front pockets and buttons at the front you saw me earlier wearing the red one and this is the black one it's a lovely item with uh, mid sleeves and it's organic cotton and you have here the little booklet for the crafty items the handmade and crafted and this is the final item when it's a bit cold outside you have a three quarter length cardigan so a long cotigan or cardigan and this one is from the muhu collection 